Welcome back everyone and welcome back Carson Wentz. I'm your go-to NFL analyst Jacob Vaughn and tonight I'll be recapping week two of the NFL. If you missed episode one, go back to Facebook and share the episode with your friends, aunts, uncles, parents. Tell your roommates, even that one cousin that you don't really like. Let them all know, this is first and Vaughn you know. Before we get this episode kicked off, click that red subscribe button below, leave a like, and then comment if the Ravens should stick with Joe Flacco at quarterback or not. This is first and Vaughn, this is first and Vaughn, this is first and Vaughn, you know. <laughs> Wait a minute, you mean I, bor- I borrowed your stuff. Sorry. Yeah, I borrowed your stuff. Sorry, Deshaun. I mean, what, what, what is yours? Is any of that yours or is the that? The chest hair is mine. Does anyone have any chest hair I could borrow? So that's how he gets his magic? Week three is the last week of Jameis Winston's suspension. Now, let me give you my opinion. The team is rallying around Ryan Fitzpatrick. Jameis Winston must stay on the bench. For crying out loud, Ryan Fitzpatrick has a new last name in Fitzmagic. Jameis Winston is done. He let his immaturity hurt his career once again. The Buccaneers should keep Ryan Fitzpatrick as the starting quarterback and not have him on a one bad game leash. Let him continue to impress and play at the high level he's been playing at, knowing that Jameis Winston will be sidelined. Pull up your fantasy team, because my visions are coming up next. Walk in the room feeling like a soldier. Sorry everyone, I just wanted to pull Avante Davis. A lot of you have been sending me pictures of your fantasy football lineups, asking questions, and getting my opinions. Now this week, continue to do that and go on Twitter. Follow First and Vaughn if you haven't already. Find our pinned tweet, which is a fan poll this week. Vote to let me know which player in fantasy football has been a surprise to this point. First off, my former athletic trader Mr. P made this Facebook post saying to start whatever player in defense that plays the Bills, and I'll second that Mr. P. Now here's who to add and drop in week three, starting with the drops. Drop Raiders wide receiver Jordy Nelson and drop Panthers running back CJ Anderson. Now go in and fill those spots, add Chargers running back Austin Eckler and add 49ers running back Matt Breda. Now sit and start for week three. Sit Colts tight end Jack Doyle. You should start Buccaneers wide receiver Deshaun Jackson who plays against a non-existent Steelers defense. Follow me at Javon Sports on Twitter. Like I said last week, I'm here to help you, unless I play you. In that case, you're about to take this L. Who headline in week two of the NFL? Oh my, subtle to the grain to the battle's over. I had a lot of requests, so here it is my Super Bowl prediction. The Super Bowl matchup will be the Jaguars versus the Rams. I could make the homer pick like I want to because my Philadelphia Eagles will repeat and week two was headlined by Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, who put up six touchdowns in 10 total in the first two weeks. He's the first quarterback to do so, and he's only 22 years old. Closing out this week's episode. My moment of the week goes to this catch. Like J. Cole said, it's a cold world. One safety back in the middle. 15, and what a catch! Oh, wow! Catch! Easily this year, we can go back here. That's that's Odell Beckham right there. Look at that. And then keep it away from Rowe. I got it. And now let me bring it away from you. And let's just uh, calmly come down. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching 1V. Read my Redskins articles on richmondtoday.com. Stay ready for next week. You might miss me until then, but don't worry. Like First and Vaughn's Facebook page and follow First and Vaughn on Twitter and Instagram. Remember, vote in the fan poll, comment your opinion, and click that subscribe button because this is First and Vaughn, you know. Walk in the room feeling like a soldier. Straight and direct if I don't do the folk. Just raw salmon, call me bacon. Oh my, subtle to the grain to the battle's over. Sang to the gang, that's my peeps, I love them. Save me in the water, cause you know I can't swim. I don't wanna talk, I wanna do right. Straight and direct if I don't do the folk, just raw. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect.